has a higher suicide rate and they're not allowed to get downwind of a how gun. Many people Your got, turn. How many people got murdered by guns in Japan in the last two or three years? We're not talking year? about guns, we're talking about you know, the act of murder. They have the do you care about murders or do you only care about murders with guns? I, I care about all deaths. I don't by think you do. Crime. I think you care about guns. I think you're no. obsessed with guns. No, I'm obsessed. 99.99% of the gun owners of America are wonderful people that right. you are hanging around with here today. Yeah. Perfectly safe, perfectly harmless, wonderful, loving, giving, generous, caring people. Would you leave us the hell alone? Here's Morgan continuing his fight. This time he took it to Texas and he took it to Ted Nugent. It didn't work out too well for poor peers. We'll have that up for you on the blog later on, lilyspad.ca. Last week we were talking with Ben Shapiro and we, we said the president had claimed he went skeet shooting all the time. We went looking and these were the only photos we could find of him doing athletic things out on the bicycle in his mom jeans with the helmet on. But the White House did release a photo of Obama skeet shooting. And here it is. We'll just watch this manly man hold a gun incorrectly. Hmm. Normally you shoot skeet pointing up or maybe pointing down, but not straight out. I, I don't know what he's doing here. Anyway, the, uh, the White House warned people not to Photoshop this, so they did, of course. Here's a couple of them that uh, we found, some of the fun, th uh, fun things people are doing with the Obama shot. Uh, that one, he's shooting through the, uh, the, the Constitution there. He's there with the British uh, redcoats, yep. And uh, we've got what Vladimir Putin, shirtless, in behind him. Absolutely Hilarious. Uh, duck Hunter. I don't even think Obama's ever played Duck Hunter, but let's talk to uh, Ben Shapiro, a man that knows Obama quite well, because uh, you guys were classmates or something, right? You, you're, you, and, you and Barry go way back, don't you? Oh, yeah, we go way back. We both go to Harvard Law School. He preceded me, and then I had to save the reputation of the school, of course, after he <laughs> became president. Now, Ben, your book is called Bullies, and I was flipping through it again today, and I said, I don't remember I'm writing about gun bullies in the book, but you guys have been dealing with gun bullies over the last little while, and specifically uh, Piers Morgan, who you've appeared on, on TV with, and, and then he's on there trying to bully Ted Nugent. Didn't go well with you or Ted. There's a real bully attempt uh, in your country right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the basic logic to the left seems to be that if you disagree with them on gun control, it's because you're a mean, bad person who doesn't care about dead kids. President Obama took his tour to Minneapolis. Piers was down south. Obama was up north. He was in Minneapolis. Uh, and he, he laid out what I'd like to call the anti-logic portion of every part of his speech, which is, uh, if we can save one life, if we can save one life, don't we have the obligation to try? Well, of course we have the obligation to try, but we don't have the obligation to invade the rights of 300 million Americans. I mean, if we really wanted to prevent death, and if one life were worth any price, then we should ban all cars. In fact, we should ban all bicycles. I, I've actually suggested that in the United States, if we want to prevent traffic deaths, we all ought to be riding around on unicycles. That way, we would both be preventing actual ve vehicular deaths, and we would also be adding to the, to the great joy and hilarity of the world because unicycles are inherently funny. <laughs> I, I don't buy the uh, if it presents, prevents one death argument either. I mean, you could ban sidewalks, you could ban ban breathing, you could ban eating, if that, if you take that. How about the First Amendment? Well, let's all wrap ourselves in bubble wrap, and we should never talk again, and we should never engage in politics, because obviously, politics makes people passionate. You could get rid of every single provision of, uh, in the Bill of Rights if this were your logic. And the truth is that you wouldn't, you would have a completely incoherent government anyway. You would have a government that is supposed to take care of you from cradle to grave, a government that was supposed to protect you from every harm, a government that was not supposed to allow you to exercise any of your rights individually. Oh, wait, wait sorry, I was describing the Obama administration there. <laughs> or the one that our socialist opposition parties want here. Look, uh, Obama is out trying to run. It, this is part of his permanent campaign. I don't know that the man knows how to govern, but he is in permanent campaign mode. And here's a clip of him. I believe this is yesterday taking on what he calls the gun lobby. Universal background checks are universally supported just about by gun owners. Majority of gun owners, overwhelming majority of gun owners think that's a good idea so if we've got lobbyists in Washington claiming to speak for gun owners, saying something different, we need to go to the source and reach out to people. Tell them there's no legislation to eliminate all guns. There's no legislation being proposed to subvert the Second Amendment. Tell them specifically what we're talking about. So... Universal background checks is something that you agree with, but your friend Ann Coulter says this mm -hmm. is going to lead to registration. And as I've pointed out to American audiences, registration will lead. 
to confiscation because that's what's happened here in Canada. Your thoughts? Yeah, no, I mean, I agree with all of that. Universal background checks, I agree with them in theory. I don't mind the idea that you ought to be checked for criminal background before you're able to purchase a gun or for mental illness history before you're able to purchase a gun. In practice, universal background checks end up being completely useless. I mean, the fact is that every universal background, we've had it in California for a long time, universal background checks, it hasn't prevented 19,700 felons and mentally ill people from owning guns, and the state knows about them. See, here's the thing. You can support something in theory and then look at the government and say the government is completely incapable of actually carrying out this theory to its ultimate conclusion. That doesn't mean that the theory is, is you know, horrific. It just means that we might want to consider the best way to implement that theory or even whether it's worth implementing, whether the cost is, is worth the benefit or rather if the benefit is worth the cost. So, um, you know, while I, while I do support the idea, the, once, once it boils down to actually, actual legislation, uh, then the idea starts to lose its, its luster a little bit. Incrementalism is the name of the game for these folks. I mean, as you mentioned, universal background checks will become universal registration. Universal registration will end up being confiscation. It's the same thing as Obamacare. You know, we're told, oh, well, there's no public option in Obamacare. We're just going to bankrupt the insurance companies and then we'll demand public option. It's the same thing Obama's doing with guns more generally, right? We're not invading your Second Amendment rights. We're not for gun confiscation. Right. Okay. Let's assume we get rid of all the quote unquote assault weapons, right? And then there's another school shooting because as it turns out, six of the last 10 mass shootings in the United States happened with handguns. And so you say, okay, well, you know what? I think we're going to have to restrict magazine size. Well, we do that, and then it turns out they're shootings. So you say, okay, well, you know, we're going to have to get rid of these semi-automatic handguns like Glocks. And it turns out that people still have revolvers, and they use those in shootings. Uh, well, eventually, you're going to end up at the point that the left wants to get to anyway, but they don't have the guts to spit out, which is they want all the guns, and they want all the guns now. If they were just honest, we could have a discussion about whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, but they're liars, and so we can't. Well I, ben, I can tell you from the experience here in Canada that if you, if you don't stand firm on this, what will happen is that you will have the registration system that Joe Biden and President Obama want. That will lead to them saying, you can't have that one. We're taking it away. It will lead to you having what we have here, where a chief firearms officer decides whether you get a license to buy a gun and then decides whether you have permission to transport your, your firearm from your home to the firing range. And that's the fight that we're having in Canada right now as bureaucrats decide how people already cleared to own these things can use them and can move them around. It is a full on status solution that you're headed towards if you go down our road. And we're not even enforcing the laws that we have on the books. I mean, as Ted Cruz pointed out, 72,000 times a year, a felon walks into a gun shop and tries to buy a gun. He's turned down. The federal government is supposed to prosecute felons who do that. We've had somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 prosecutions over the last year uh, on, the, on, on those particular laws. They're not enforcing the laws that are on the books so that they can pass more laws. The one they really want to enforce and the one that they will enforce is the one in which they come to your home and demand that you hand over your firearms right now. All right, Ben, good talking to you. And, of course, everyone, if you haven't picked up Bullies yet, you can find that at Better Bookstores Everywhere. Ben Shapiro, editor at large, brightbart.com. It's The Crown. More to come.